All right, guys, we're going to work on getting more racket head speed from our two-handed backhand. The reason why I'm choosing the two-handed backhand is because with two hands, you have less of a reach and you have a tighter natural grip. With two hands, you're gonna have a tighter grip. Very hard to get that racket head to move at the recreational level. I see a lot of stiffness. So I wanted to give a couple hints towards getting that racket head moving. Now we've talked about how the forehand moves naturally by just throwing our fist forward, not our racket back, releasing tension, and then whipping through the ball. So that allows to get really good rack head speed and you're always going to be able to hit the forehand harder. The muscles here are always gonna be stronger, stronger than the muscles here for the backhand. So that's going to be something to always work on, but it's always nice to be able to hit the backhand with pace and you're able to dictate the point on the backhand or at least allow players not to attack it as much. So one thing that we have to realize is we have to stop being so stiff in the arms. So what I mean by that is a lot of players will rotate with their shoulders, which is correct, but they have no rat, their arm and wrist is very, very stiff. So the rack, the swing path is very short and very choppy. Very, uh, the, the amount of space between your swing and the ball is short, therefore creating very little pace on the ball because from here to here, you're not gonna get much pace. So even if you're taking your racket back and still taking a longer swing, you're still not generating much pace because the racket head isn't moving very quickly. To get a racket head to move quickly, you have to think about relaxing your wrist. When I relax my wrist, the rack ahead drops, right? So that's one thing we definitely want to do is relax our wrist. But still, that is not going to give you the rack ahead pace that you want when your arms are still stiff. So what I mean by that is we need to make sure that we, we act like a whip. So a whip is when our arms will bend and then straighten. And that's where we're going to use our left arm for that. So all the really good players, yes, they have a C-swing to get some momentum going. So that's important. But the big part that I really want to stress is having your left arm bent. If I'm, I'm right-handed, so I'm going to hit my backhand on my left hand. So if you're left-handed, your right arm will be this. But my left arm will be bent on the take back. So watch when I do this. My arm is taken back and my right arm is straight, my left arm is bent. That allows me to have a whipping sensation and go through the ball and my arm now will be straight on, it, on impact and through. So the key is when I'm taking my racket back, I'm going to make sure my left arm is bent and then my right arm is straight. And when I finish, I'm going to be able to let my arm straighten out and go all the way through. And yes, you can wrap around or you could just go all the way out here to feel that extension. You wanna feel that extension. So, all right, so looking, looking, like showing what I mean by that, we're going to have our left arm bent and then our left arm straight when I'm about to hit that ball, okay? Left arm bent, left arm straight. That allows a lot of rack ahead speed into the ball. Again, left arm bent, left arm straight get a lot of pace on the ball, and then all it is is timing, all right? Obviously, you wanna step in the ball. I have videos talking about transferring your weight and all that, but we really haven't talked about getting your arm straightening out. So instead of straightening back, straightening like that, see how, how, that, how stiff that looks? Having a bent arm and going all the way out and keeping that elbow up and keeping it bent and going through it gets you a lot more rack ahead speed and therefore increasing the amount of spin your ball will have and therefore more accuracy. And that's, that's basically what you're trying to do. You're trying to create accuracy and pace. So give it a shot. Hopefully that helps and good luck.